Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 23rd coaching log on the Ukraine Coaching Experience module. Um, today I'm going to talk about something different, almost um, more related to university, about how the impact of my other modules um, has affected the coaching experience module that I'm currently undertaking. <clears throat> um, so firstly, it's kind of putting theory into practice. So in all my modules, I intake a lot of theory and detail and information, written information, which is then processed by me by going through my notes and rewriting and rereading them. And then on the UConn coaching experience module, I actually put them in into practice. So going from the classroom to the to the to the football pitch is is really helping me transfer key information that I'm having to learn because I can go out and see it through my own kind of perspective not through the lens of a, a lecturer or I can actually see it through you know what I picture it as which I feel is really helping me get to grips with some research and and some key theories that we're undertaking and I feel like that's really beneficial for me as I can then almost refer back to that my experiences on the on this module within my other modules to, to say oh I've tried this and I've done that um, and that's what happened and this is what I thought and this is how I adapted it um, but I thought it was really beneficial that I'm being able to put the theory into practice another thing another impact that it's having on on this module is that I'm being able to reflect on my delivery and coaching techniques a lot more clearer um, I feel like now that I'm in second year and I understand the reflection a bit more and and getting to grasp with what it is and what it actually does for me, it's really beneficial for me. I can look through a session and say, I should have picked that out earlier or that was good or I didn't realise that X person was was a bit quiet tonight and I could have addressed that quicker. But now I'm starting to get to grasp with seeing that during the session and then reflecting after and saying, could I have done that even better or what could be improved from that previous session? And this kind of video log is really helping me to do that by looking through and, and seeing how how I could adapt and change my my sessions in order to align it with some of the theory that I maybe have studied. But I found some key research done by Nash et al. in 2016 who stated um, feedback is a necessary component at all levels of coaching and its significance and centrality in the coaching process should not be disregarded at the basic levels. So... Going back to reflecting on my delivery and coaching techniques, I, I work quite closely with a few few other coaches and we are constantly providing each other feedback, whether it's craze or something they can adjust or you know, something that we that we really, really like and we want to take into our own session. But being able to feedback for each other is especially as we see each other as quite significant others, is really beneficial as we remember it longer and, and you know, we can we can process it and understand and appreciate their opinion a bit more. Another impact that's had on well, another impact that other model or my other modules have had on this specific module is that um, I'm being able to support players through feedback and, and monitoring of progression. Uh, so looking into specifically the perform performance enhancement module, we're doing a lot of monitoring and, and of feedback through progression. Uh, so I'm able to identify key performance indicators, or kind of especially growth spurts. So especially under six I'm seeing a lot of growth spurts at the moment if I think back to the start of the season when quite a lot of them were really small and a few have really shot up so looking at that physical maturation as a key performance indicator or someone who's come in who's got brilliant coordination um, and being able to see that they can manipulate a ball, manipulate a ball really really well uh, just key little performance indicators like that and even SAQ you know, who's the who's who's got the quickest like who's the most agile um, who's the quickest, you know, who's got the quickest feet over 10 yards, who's got excellent ball control. All of them key performance indicators are stuff that I can feed back to parents, the, the players during sessions, and also my my uh, my boss who I can feed back about player information and give a bit more of a detailed overview of, of what I've seen. Um, but I can also spot the other side as well when a, when a player doesn't look like themselves. You know, we build a portfolio almost around them, what we expect when they come in. So... I've got twins in my group who I know are going to be really lively every session. But if they both come in and are quite dull, 
that might be a key performance indicator for that specific session that they might not be at their maximum and being able to perform at their maximum. So it's some it's it's indicators like that that I then need to you know maybe put them to one side and just say are you okay and make sure everything's okay. Uh, finally, my last kind of impact is that it's being able to push myself further after undertaking reading. So looking at some key reading and, and being able to spot it and saying, you know, I agree with that or I disagree with that um, and putting it into my practice and giving it a go and really trying and then reflecting on that practice and seeing how it went has been really, really beneficial to me. But overall, the impact of, of my other modules on this specific coaching experience module has been really beneficial and I'm really enjoying trying to highlight the theory that I really understand and, and throw it into a practice and see how it goes and I'm looking to continue this for the rest of the year.